Well, we got Leland out here this morning with a tiller for the first time. He's big enough to guide it. Not big enough yet to start it, but he can certainly hold on to it and guide it. So this was uh, our, well, we finished digging sweet potatoes this morning and uh, we already pulled the corn and the okra up and we're getting it ready for the fall now. And I always change my mind when I say I'm gonna do it a certain way. I usually change my mind. But I was gonna plant corn out here again, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm just kind of backing up to show you what we've got here. All right, that's about it right there. It's about a 16 by 60. But I think what I'm gonna do is I have an extra greenhouse, a 10 by 20 like the, the frame you see in the back, back there, that white frame. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna plant peas out here. Now I've got pink eye purple hole peas here, I'll show you in a minute, that are growing that'll be ready here in a, about another two weeks. But, um, you know, this is the first year we used this as a garden. This was the very first time we used this. We just tilled it up this spring. And so I wasn't able to amend it as well as I'd like. Sweet potatoes, we got sweet potatoes. We just didn't get the harvest you would expect by how many plants we had. But we got some nonetheless. And so we need to fix the soil a little bit. I've already put some, uh, some lime pellets down and they've been dissolving in the rain. We've had a lot of rain here. But I think I'm gonna plant the, the peas again because they're a legume, if you pronounce it that way. And uh, they feed the soil with uh, oxygen, or uh, nitrogen, my bad. And so I'm thinking I'm just gonna, I was gonna do corn and then plant peas in the, amongst the corn, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and plant peas here. And, uh, but I'm gonna leave a 10 by 20 spot up in that top left corner behind Leland right there. And I'm not gonna plant anything. And then when it gets cool enough, I'll set up that other greenhouse and we'll see if we can't grow some broccoli and cauliflower and stuff or cabbage or whatever in the greenhouse. So, yeah, that's what's going on here. We gotta pass over this a few times and then I'll throw down some more uh, lime and, uh, and we'll go from there. Don't turn it off yet, buddy. So, but I, I'll show you a little bit more here in a minute what's going on with the rest of the garden. Okay, I showed you this morning we were out here digging up sweet potatoes and tilling. And so, the rest of the garden, so here's the little, the uh, patio garden that we call it. And you see there's nothing in the boxes. All the boxes are empty right now. I do have some peppers, steel jalapenos down here. That's some hibiscus in containers. Uh, I do have a few peppers over there that are, come on helicopter, that are uh, getting a little ripe. I'm sorry about the helicopter. That's the Navy flying. Fig trees are doing good. I got two turkey figs here. But uh, what I did was I've amended these two boxes. I've added six cubic yards of the miracle Grow uh, in-ground uh, compost. And then these two boxes, I added six cubic yards of the black cow. And so I'll be planting tomatoes uh, over there and over here probably next month. I just planted the seeds today. And then over here and over here, right now I've got a golden acorn squash and uh, some beets set up to go there. But I haven't uh, planted those yet. What I'm going to show you what's going on back here. I just did a chop and drop where all my trees are at here. And so here, there's my uh, lime, hibiscus, papaya, guava, moringa, banana. Uh, there's an orange right there. I've got some smaller bananas that didn't get enough light with all this clover. This is called Alice clover. It's not a real clover, but uh, it's a legume and it puts nitrogen in the soil. So I had it growing and uh, I just did a chop and drop and that, that should help feed these beds even more because I've got some more trees that need to come out here and get started before the winter time. Mexican cream guava, more bananas. 
uh, the Ponderosa lemon, which is loaded with big lemons. Uh, Cavendish banana, uh, another pink guava. This moringa tree here, look at this. We are up probably 10 feet now. Uh, this was one from last year that I cut down to about two inches above the ground and it came back out and it's doing great. Now this papaya here, you can see I'm getting fruit on it. So those, those are papayas. And uh, maybe by November, December, we'll be able to harvest those papayas. But once again, I did the chop and drop. This clover got three feet tall. Uh, it might have been in the last video. I don't know. But, and here's another hibiscus growing right here. This is part, here's some of that clover. I missed this one, but look how tall that is. That's, man, that's four feet tall right there. Uh, there's a few I missed. And then there's that pink lemon tree. So that's kind of what's going on here. Uh, chop and drop, you see I've got some watermelon still winding up through here. Uh, we cut a watermelon today, as a matter of fact. That's all my chop and drop. Uh, this right here is the Okinawa white bitter melon, and it's starting to bloom out. I got a few of them planted here, and, uh, but I've never had it before. And this is cucamelon. I don't know. Looks like looks like cucamelon, I guess. Uh, well, let's go in here. We got a lot of weeds to still get our volunteer cantaloupe. Yeah, it's getting weedy. Here's a guava. Man, this thing's really sprouted out from dead. Mostly, I'm not really going to show you. This is just still baby trees. I do have. Uh, Carambola or star fruit, if you want to call it star fruit. So we got star fruit on that tree, but I'm bringing you out here to show you the peas. So these are my pink eyed purple hole peas. Here's some that are starting to turn, and that's my pea patch. And I got about, I got it's a 50 foot row, I got two rows, so I got a hundred foot of pink eyed purple hole peas and they are loaded uh, i'm not due to pick them for two more weeks but it might be earlier considering i'm looking at some right here that are i mean these are ready they'll be dry by the time i get ready to pick the rest of them and that's fine but uh and that trellis now let me tell you something i trellised the butternut squash and it, it did okay, but the squash on the ground did much better. Now, I trellised it because that's what I was instructed to do. But I don't think next year I'm going to trellis it because it's doing much better. The leaves are producing a lot better on the ground here. And I'm trying to get by the skipping on vine here. But, uh, yeah, see those big leaves? So... I got some watermelons over there growing, but I'm not gonna mess with that. But if you can see here, skeppernons. See them skeppernons right here? Or a lot of people call them muscadines. It's loaded. Uh, we've already picked a couple of pounds off of here. These are southern grapes. If you're in the south, you know what this is. It grows wild here. And uh, you can make jelly and, and wine out of it. Let's see, there's my vine growing right there I planted and it's gotten pretty thick but the chickens they they seem to have plenty of shade throughout the day so but uh okay well that's all I've got to show for now um just trying to get caught up it's so hot our heat index today was 109 degrees so everything's kind of gone crazy with the weeds getting in stuff oops but uh well there's that uh turmeric right here that's really sprouting up big right here look at that i wish it would flower but it's not so okay well i'll just leave you guys there and we'll bring you back next time and see what else is going on once i get the garden planted i get some more trees planted out here then I, i'll make another video so i'll see you then
We almost forgot to add the sweet potatoes. And that's the sweet potatoes we dug up this morning. And we washed them off and let them dry on this trailer. So tomorrow I'll be uh, taking them inside and laying them out so they can cure. But we didn't get a whole bunch. And they're, they're just the shapes and size. I mean, we got a few like this. I mean, that's a pretty good size. But a lot of them are just little twisted guys and whatnot. So this stuff will all be cleaned up and be canning uh, the rest of them. But that's what we got for sweet potatoes. So, all right. Check you on the next one.